All right, so this is the type of problem that I really enjoy. So you should definitely be prepared to answer something like this in the exam. So they give us three equations with their corresponding enthalpies. And then they wanted to calculate the enthalpy for a different equation. So what we're going to do is that we're going to manipul manipulate these three equations that are given to us until we get the one they want. And just by looking at it, the first thing that I notice is that all the coefficients of the equation they want for us to calculate are ones. But this one's over here, I see a lot of twos. So we're going to have to divide some of these equations by two. And if you divide the equation by two, remember you have to divide the delta H by two. If you reverse the equation, then you have to reverse the sign for the, for the enthalpy as well. So let's start with the equation that has this as a reagent. So we have it right here. So we're going to, I'm going to copy it down here, CLF. I'm going to ignore the gas and the, the, the state because it's faster to write without them. And I'm going to even put the delta H here. Whatever I do to the equation, I have to do to the delta H, 167.4 kilojoules. All right, the equation they give us, they only want one of these. I have two. So I'm going to have to divide everything by two, including the delta H. Okay. The other equation that I'm going to use, they want CLF3 as the product. I see CLF3 here on this one as a reagent. So let's take this reaction and let's flip it. So let's start with the products. So I have, again, I'm going to copy the equation completely the same way that it's given down here, but backwards. And then if I have to divide or multiply, I'll do that in the with the orange pen. So 2 oxygen gas plus 2 ClF3. Notice that I want a coefficient of 1. This one has 2, so I'm going to divide everything by 2. And the delta H, which I forgot. All right, hold on. I flipped the reaction. I did the opposite reaction, so I have to use the opposite sign for the delta H. So this one's going to be a minus 341.4 kilojoules. And I divided the equation by 2, so I'm going to divide the delta H by 2 as well. The last one. Okay, so yes, because I want the fluorine here as a reagent, so I need to use this one here. So 2, F2, plus O2, giving me 2, F2Os, the delta H is minus 43.4 kilojoules. They only want one mole of fluorine gas. So go ahead and divide everything by two, <clears throat> including oh, the delta H. All right, let's cancel things. Let's see what cancels. So I have, I have a lot of oxygen all over the place. So on this side, on the uh, right, I'm sorry, left side I have half and half, so I have one oxygen on this side. I have one over here, so all the oxygens cancel. I have half a ClO2, Cl2O, half a Cl2O, that cancels. I have, oh, okay, okay. 
So right here I have one half and one, so it's one and a half, and I have one and a half over here. That cancels. Uh, okay. All right, so I have this cancel. That's one CLF. Yeah. And one fluorine molecule forming ClF3. That's the exact equation they gave us. So the delta H for this reaction is the addition of these three numbers. So delta H1 plus delta H2 plus delta H3. That is 167.4 <clears throat> divided by 2 minus 341.4 divided by 2 minus 43.4 divided by 2. If you add all that, that gives you minus, oh, I don't know why I put it up there, 108.7 kilojoules. So let's come over here and finish the reaction, 108.7 kilojoules. And that's how you do this.